Hello and welcome to more Nerdy Rodent Geekery. Today I'm looking at a multi-voice TTS system trained with an emphasis on quality. And as you can probably tell, that wasn't me, but it was me. Yes, I cloned my voice using Tortoise TTS. TTS Tortoise. Yes. Anyway, so Tortoise is a text to speech program built with the following priorities. Number one, strong multi-voice capabilities. And number two, highly realistic prosody and intonation. This repository contains all the code needed to run Tortoise TTS in inference mode. Now, if you want to have a little listen to some of the examples, and there's this page here under the demos, you can listen to all the things there. There's handpicked results and compared to Tacotron 2, various spoken texts for all voices and some long form results as well. So there you go, loads of examples. Now, if you want to use this on your own computer, you must have an NVIDIA GPU. If you don't have an NVIDIA GPU, then it's okay. You can use the Google, Google Colab, yeah? Yeah, there's a link there for Google Colab. So once you've got the Colab there, click on the little folder icon, you can see all the directories. You can change your text where it says text, and then you can do runtime, run all, or press control F9, and that will run through. Then you get your results in there, and you can listen to all sorts of things to your heart's content. Now, I'm going to install this locally, because that's what I usually do, isn't it? Yeah. Now, of course, I've got Anaconda running. Uh, I installed that already. Uh, if you want to install Anaconda, then yeah, that, that's up to you. Uh, Miniconda as well is another option, or whatever virtual environment you want for your Python. So Conda create minus minus name, Tortoise TTS, and I am using Python 3.9. If you are using a virtual environment, then don't forget to activate it with Conda activate, and then whatever name you used, I use Tortoise TTS because I'm good at names. Then you can do all the downloads and install. So the git clone, the CD, and the pip install minus r requirements.txt exactly like it says there. So once you've downloaded and installed all that stuff, you are ready to go. You can do the little test there. We'll do the little test. Now, one thing to note is you will want to add train underscore there to dot rice uh, because that's what the voice is called. It's called train underscore dot rice, not dot rice. If you look in voices, there you go. There's voices train underscore dot rice. So that is the one that we're going to be using. And as you can see in there, there's just a couple of WAV files. So while that is doing its thing, let's pop over here and have a look at some of the options. So one of the optional extras you may want to install is the MP3 decoding. So you can pip install Cython and git clone the PyFast MP3 decoder and install that. And that will let you use MP3 files instead of WAVs. Uh, there's a bunch of different presets there. We're using the fast preset by in the example. And you can also use ultra fast, standard or high quality. Uh, there's also a voice diversity intelligibility slider as well, which goes between zero and one. Default is 0.5. And if you want to pick a directory other than results, you can select that directory using the output path option. Yeah, yeah. OK, so let's have a quick listen to that. That is train underscore dot rice. And that sounds like this. I'm going to speak this. All right, let's have a quick listen again. Oops. I'm going to speak this. Yeah, all right, fine. A little bit robotic, but hey, it shows that we are running. Everything is installed and running perfectly. Now, if you want to do loads and loads of text, then you want to use this read.py rather than do TTS instead. So there's a couple of options there. Uh, there is, of course, also an API. Now, onto the fun bit, eh? the voice customization. So this is where you do the voice cloning if you want to copy your own voice or do that of your friends or copy a politician and make them say something silly, then yeah, that's that's this bit here. So pretty simple. Basically, you need three clips of around 10 seconds each uh, and a sample rate of 22050 WAV uh, floating point unless you installed that MP3 option. So let, let, let's do this in Audacity, shall we? Crack open Audacity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, so uh, project rate 22050, and then you want a little bit of text, so uh, let, let's just read this and, and do that. Tortoise was trained to be a multi-speaker model. It accomplishes this by consulting reference clips. These reference clips are recordings of a speaker that you provide to guide the speech generation. There you go. So that's about a 10 second clip. Cut off that little bit of blank space at the beginning, and then we'll do, whoops, file. Export. Now, you can do export as MP3 if you've installed that MP3 stuff. If not, export as WAV. And we do that in there. Save that as number 15. There we go. That's fine. We can close that down now. And then if you want to use that, now I saved it in the My Voice directory. So that's exactly what I put here in the voice. So I do My 
underscore voice. There we go. Now, while that is generating, let's just give a few tips on picking a good reference clip. So you want to avoid clips with background music, noise, or reverb, as those clips were removed from the training dataset, and Tortoise is unlikely to do well with them. Avoid speeches, as those generally have distortion caused by the amp system, and avoid clips with phone calls. You may want to avoid clips also that have excessive stuttering, stammering, or words like um or like in them. Yes, try to find clips that are spoken in such a way as you wish your output to sound like. And the text being spoken in the clips doesn't matter, but diverse text does seem to perform better. So let's have a, a little listen to my voice. I'm going to speak this. Okay, sort of sounds like me, but hey, now let's let's have a, a, another listen to uh, another voice that I did. So this is uh, this is one of my friends, and of course you can make your friends say anything you want. And uh, this is this is what they have to say about uh, me and my channel. I have to say that Nuri Rodent has the best YouTube channel. I really enjoy all the videos and it brightens my life. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that's excellent. So there you go. And uh, don't forget there are a few ethical considerations and there's a tortoise detect as well. If you're not sure whether something was created using tortoise, there is a is this from tortoise.py. So you can run that as well. So yep, have a read of all the other things. You can do a, a couple of other things with it as well. But uh, that is the main thing. So there you go, tortoise TTS rodent out for now.